Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Students, due to Corona pandemic, we couldn't meet in the school, but we are going to meet through the media that is phone. So I myself, Mrs. Elvina De Mello from Saint Paul's High School, Mira Road East, your maths teacher for Standard Fourth, is going to teach you a new topic today. Okay, students. I'm not going to tell you the name. You're going to tell me the name. Okay, let's begin. Can you tell me what is in my hand? These are the lollipops which you love to eat. Yes or no? Yes. Now, can you count them for me? Come on, we'll count together. Okay. One, two. Three, four, and five. So, students, I have five candies with me. Yes or no? Yes. Now, students, from this five candies, if I give you two candies, okay? From this five candies, I give you two candies. So, how many candies am I left with? Can you tell me? I am left with three candies, right? So, what did I do here? Come on, tell me. What did I do? I subtracted, right? What did I do? I gave you two candies, and the remaining candy were in my hand. And how many they were? They were three. So what did I do? I subtracted. Very good. So our today's topic is subtraction. Okay, students. So without wasting any time, we are going to solve the sums now, students. In previous class, you have already learned subtraction. Okay, but in smaller numbers. Now we are going to learn bigger numbers. So let's start. We use the subtraction sign to write the subtraction sentence. So, students, do you remember the terms used in for the numbers in subtraction? The number from which a number is subtracted is called minuend. The number that is subtracted is called subtrahend. And the answer we get after the subtraction is called the difference. So forty-eight is the minuend, thirty-eight is the subtrahend, and ten is the difference. Now, student, let's get started with the properties of subtraction. Property one: When we subtract or take away zero from a number, the difference will be the number itself. For example, if you subtract zero from twenty-nine. Your answer will be the number itself. That is twenty nine. One forty five minus zero is equal to one forty five. Property two. When a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is zero. For example, if you subtract twenty nine from twenty nine, your answer will be zero. One forty-five minus one forty-five is equal to zero. Property three: When we subtract one from a number, we get its predecessor. Example: If you subtract one from seven, you're going to get the answer six. Ninety-three minus one is equal to ninety-two. Property four: We cannot change the order of the numbers in subtraction. The greater number always comes first. Example: seventy-nine minus forty-five is equal to thirty-four. That is, you can minus smaller number from bigger number. Okay, students, have you all understood the properties? subtraction without borrowing now here your question is 
you have to subtract 2362 from 3784 students you have to keep in mind you have to first write the numbers into their proper places now it is four digit number so you have to write according to their places that is ones tens hundreds and thousand each number you have to write according to their places now student whenever you are subtracting a number you have to subtract from the right hand side and move towards your left hand side that is from ones place to thousands place okay students so here you are going to subtract first the ones place that is 2 you are going to subtract from 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 now how did you subtract it because 2 is a smaller number and 4 is a greater number so you can subtract 2 from 4 now let's move to the next number that is 8 minus 6 in tens place so can you subtract 6 from 8 yes and your answer is 2 now let's move to the next place that is hundreds so again you have to subtract 3 from 7 now again 3 is a smaller number and 7 is a greater number so you can subtract 3 from 7 so can you tell me what is the answer from 7 minus 3 and the answer is 7 minus 3 is 4 very good 7 minus 3 is 4 now we are going to move to a last place that is thousands place so you're going to subtract 2 from 3 and 3 minus 2 your answer is can you minus it yes and your answer is 1 so students have you all subtracted each and every number over here yes what did you do you subtracted the smaller number from the greater number so your answer is 1422 subtraction with borrowing method you have to subtract 1658 from 4381 now student again you have to place the digit according to their proper places now here you have to write the digits in ones place then in tens then hundreds and then thousands place so here same we are going to subtract from right hand side and move towards the left hand side that is from ones place tens place hundreds and then thousand now come on let's move on to the ones place that is you have to subtract 8 from 1 but student can you see 8 is a greater number and 1 is a smaller number so you cannot minus greater number from smaller number so what are you going to do over here here you are going to borrow one number from the next place that is from tens place so 8 will be reduced to 7 because 8 gives one number to 1's that is 1 and 1 become 11 and 8 is reduced to 7 because he gave one number to 1 so now you can minus 8 from 11 so your answer is 3 understood now in tens place you have 7 minus 5 so 5 you can subtract from 7 because 5 is a smaller number so your answer is 2 7 minus 5 your answer is 2 now student let's go to the next place that is hundreds place 3 minus 6 6 you have to minus from 3 now again 6 is a greater number so you cannot minus it so what are you going to do again 3 is going to borrow one number from the next 
digit that is 4 so 4 gives one number to 3 and 3 becomes 13 and 4 gives one number to 3 that is why 4 is reduced to 3 so now you can minus 6 from 13 and your answer is 7 so students now in thousands place 3 minus 1 now you can subtract 1 from 3 yes so 3 minus 1 what is the answer can you tell me because 1 is a smaller number so 3 minus 1 is 2 so students have you all understood if the number cannot be subtracted you have to borrow one number from the neighbor that is from the next place next digit so your answer for this is 2723 so have you all understood the borrowing method yes now student you have to do some worksheet there are number of questions on the screen you have to subtract that okay so this will be your homework i hope you all understood the lesson yes or no yes and what is your homework you have to do the worksheets which i have given you okay students so this is the end of part one video and we are going to meet in part two video where we are going to do four digit subtraction five digit subtraction and word problems so let's meet in part two video till then students be safe be healthy and wash your hands frequently okay students have a good day bye bye